Well, hello, this is day two of our Advent calendar story. So I hope you're sitting comfortably and we'll, we'll have a good, good story. And today, now, Lynn was talking yesterday about how God created the, wor the world. So today we're going to be thinking about something a bit further on from that. I wonder if you, what do you think when you think of the word kindness? Hmm, perhaps it's a friend sharing their toys or even their sweets. Well, that's definitely kindness. Perhaps it's when an adult close to you, your mum or your dad or granny, gives you a cuddle when you're upset. Or when you have a special cake made for your birthday. Or someone helps you do something you've never done before, <clears throat> like riding a bike. Perhaps you've been a bit scared. So what about God? Do you think God is kind? So yesterday, when Lynn told us about our first Advent story, taking us right back to when God created our beautiful world, our great big God, today too of our Advent calendar, we'll find out what happened after God created the world. Now, listen hard and see if you can pick out where God is being kind. God had made the night, day, sun, moon, stars. Then he made the sea and lots of living creatures to move around among the mountains, trees and fields and uh, fishes to swim in the sea. Such a beautiful, peaceful world to live in. It was all created by God speaking. Well, how amazing is that? Can you remember what God said when it was finished? He looked at all that he had made and saw that it was good. You know, when you've made a piece of craft or made a cake or drawn a lovely picture and you've been really pleased with what you've done? Well, that's how God felt. He was pleased with his creation. But then he thought, I need someone to share this with. It's too nice to keep to myself. I know. I'll create a man and I'll make him like me. So he did. Then God thought, Adam, that's the name he gave him, will be lonely. So he needs a companion. So God created a woman. called Eve. So they could share all that God had made, everything. He gave them seeds and crops of fruit and vegetables to eat, cattle and other animals to enjoy. Then God asked Adam and Eve to name and look after the animals and the land that he had given them to enjoy and to enjoy each other's company and all that he had made. God wanted them to enjoy his company too, and to be friends with him and talk to him. Wow, what a generous and kind God. Did you spot God's kindness? He not only created the world Adam and Eve, and Adam and Eve, God made sure it was a beautiful and peaceful place to live in. He gave them food to eat, and animals and land to care for and look after and to enjoy too. And God gave them himself to be a friend and to talk to. And he made Adam and Eve just like him. I expect you've heard people say to you, oh, you're the image of your mum. Your dad's good at making things just like you are. So God made us like himself to be loving and kind to each other and to care for the world he made for all of us to enjoy. So let's make sure that we are kind and share things, even with those that we don't like very much, and be more like God's son, Jesus, who we'll learn a lot more about later. So how about we have a little prayer, we talk to God and ask him to help us. Let's be quiet and pray. 
Lord God, Father God, thank you for making us, for loving us and for all your kindness to us. Thank you for giving us such a beautiful world to enjoy. Please help us always to be kind to others and to share the good things that we have, just like you. Amen. So there'll be another story tomorrow. And if you'd like to colour in your picture of the people that God created, and you can make them however you like, and then I'll say goodbye. Bye.